game between Converse Judson, the Rockets leading 25 to 21 over Midland Lee. Head coach Frank Arnold, the flying halfback of Texas Lutheran some 20 years ago. Second down and 12, 11. Here's Jones. Third down and 10. And I'm uh, I'm up here in the booth with one of the greatest coaches of of all time, and he was saying three three downs to get 11. He was thinking, thinking wishbone and run, wasn't he? You think now it's two downs to get ten. Two downs to get nine and or ten. Now do you throw? I, I throw. Might, I might even think about throwing here. <laughs> <laughs> they have not thrown yet today. Let's see what they've nine times in the last five games. Motley, the quarterback. They split the backs and send a wide receiver wide to the left. Yep, first time. Nope. Fumble. See who got it. Anyone who is raised around these parts now immediately thinks back to the famous statement the coach made: three things bad can happen, or three things can happen when you pass, and two of them are bad. You know, I said that in jest. But they they uh, came in and knocked Motley loose from the ball. But, uh, he was rushed pretty hard in there by Milligan, number 54, from Converse Judson, and. Midland did retain possession of the ball. We'll see whether he's got leg enough to kick this field goal in. Be a 45-yard kick for Comrade. Snap is a little high, and that'll be short. So the third down pass doesn't work, and the Rockets take over after the unsuccessful field goal. Isn't that funny? I know you did say that in jest, but of all of the things that have been attributed to you that one has hung on longer than almost any other yeah and i really was just kidding and i'm really kidding anyway about we used to work hard on our passing attack and and we threw the ball a lot more than we ever got credit for but but when they uh when that thing came up i just played the part go ahead what the heck In comparison of the running backs pretty even walter jones and chris Pryor. all uh, daryl royal did was do enough and do whatever it took to win so i whether it was run, pass, or the kicking game. Here's Chris Pryor. Now the emotion has gone right back over to the guys in red. Midland Lee took it with that good field position following the short kick. Got as far as the 25. Now gave it up. You know what's exciting about this game is, though, even though they've got the momentum, we've seen that thing shift all day, and I don't even know who's got the momentum. They leak and make make things happen. They can make them happen quick for those uh, running backs they have. Martin comes wide left. Pryor up the middle. About three to the 43-yard line. 10.05 to go, 25-21. Rockets took a 7-0 lead. Midland Lee tied it up 7-7. Rockets went on top 13-7, missed the extra point. Midland Lee took a 14-13 lead, then went out 21-13 at the half. Two touchdowns in the third quarter have given Judson a 25-21 lead. Look at him hang on to that ball, Alan Deer. And that'll bring up a third and five. This time the tackle made again by Michael Johnson, number 89. There was an extra point blocked after the second Judson touchdown. Since that time, they have gone for three, gone for two twice, and have not made it. They've really had a lot of success with Lambert out in the flat, putting a move on the linebacker, and they're in the third and four. That's uh, about 50-50 today for Judson between prior off tackle or hitting the ball out in the flat. Yep, that's prior. I don't think he got enough. He's at the 50-yard line, not enough for the first down. This will be a tester right here. Joe Gibbs went for it uh, last week about this time against the Cowboys, and it didn't pay off. That's a tough call for a coach. I'm, you're tempted to go for it, but I would say at this stage of the game, they ought to punt. What do you think, Pr Coach? The inside handoff, off the half roll again, and Pryor right there tries to get that extra yard. He's good gang tackling by... Midland Lee and especially big number 89 Michael Johnson who's been all over the field today makes the play. How about this? You agree? He's not going to say but he's nodding his head no. That little spin right there. I do now. That spin. That spin did it. 
I'd put the ball the other end of the field. Gamble? You know, but that's... Uh, and apparently got it. Here's Pryor right here. He's hit. He stopped. But watch him spin right there. He does a full uh, 360. And you know, that's the reason they make chocolate ice cream and the vanilla. Everybody's got a choice. But I, you ask me personally, I'd kick the ball I, at that point. I would have punted too. I would have uh, gone for it if I'd have been behind. Here's Deer. Pumps once. Goes deep for Martin. Tipped away. Good defensive play. Intended for Alton Martin and Ricky Jackson, number 35, was back to defend. Well, we had two fourth down and ones here at Texas Stadium the last time a game was played here. One by Joe Gibbs, the Redskins, that didn't work, and the other by Tom Landry, the Cowboys, on a Danny White audible that didn't work. That one goes. And one by Chris Pryor, Pryor that was very successful. Second down and 10, 25-21. Rockets have the lead. Draw play, flag is down. Lambert gets it to the 46-yard line. Now we have two flags on the field. Michael Wallace makes the tackle. Lambert's hurt. And Lambert is down. Training staff hurries on. The legal procedure is the call against the Rockets. John versus Judson. You know, Frank Arnold felt that he had against especially this big Midland team, he had to move the ball throwing it as well as the draws and hopefully Pryor was going to be able to run and make some big plays, but he didn't think he could pound it down the throats of Midland. Here's a uh, play right here where Chip Lambert's getting up now walking off the field, but he's trying to fight for every inch and He's, he's jogging off the field, so he's okay right now. But, you know, what impressed me is, is he did. He, he's thrown the ball in first down two or three times, and he had good field position, so he, he's staying with that philosophy. He's got to hit some passes and mix it up, and Alan Deere's done an excellent job today throwing the ball. Alan Deere is 7 of 11 for 97 yards. It's third down right now. They fake the draw play. Deere looks downfield. Now drills it into triple coverage. It's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 22 by Sergio Ochoa. He was trying to get the ball originally deep down to the, the right side, and uh, the receiver was double covered. And he waited, hesitated. By the time he threw it the second time, they were uh, they were surrounding. I believe it was Martin downfield. Ochoa, go ahead, Raj. That is the first turnover now by the Rockets and they give up the ball at the 22 yard line 736 remaining in the ball game Rockets lead by four.